Archmage versus Farseer Fast Tech for Starbuck. Or for Arma, sorry. Used to Starbuck playing Orc, but he's playing human now. Arma. Fast Teching. A player's forces are under attack. What's it cost money? It's costing less and less by the day. Probably permanently half price right now. Here comes Arma. No tower, two farm tech, so rifleman most likely for Starbuck. Let's see a blacksmith right now. A player's forces are under attack. Or not. Lumber mill, actually. Hmm. Although the lumber on this map is really bad, so I guess that's why he's doing it. I keep clicking on these red parts of the map thinking something's going on. Hmm, maybe Starbucks actually playing different than I thought. Because there's no blacksmith, and he's still creeping. Players' forces are under attack. Level two. And a cloak. Not too bad. Not too bad, not too shab. Okay, Arcane Tower finally up. Hiding a little bit. There's the blacksmith. Pretty late though, isn't it? Not a big deal. His second rifleman will be later than he wants. Arma. Torn totem and bestiary. Okay. I'll let him cook, whatever. A player's forces are under attack. Not refunded. Good. Blizzard deserves no money ever again. For the rest of their existence. I don't care if every game goes under. But moving on. Archmage is going to be level 3 soon. Archmage on their way out. Farseer getting some experience to catch up in that regard. Yeah, Raider Walker. Very different from Arma. Double bestiary. I feel like I've seen Lynn do this against... Oh, never mind. I won't explain anything. A player's forces are under attack. Starbuck. Not going double sanctum. So, straight rifleman. You know, we've seen like the two riflemen into early double sanctum in the past. Like, way in the past, but... Not what we're seeing here. A player's forces are under attack. The Blizzard Dudio? It's what it did to all of us, okay? Mountain King going to be very quickly level 2 off this camp, but the issue then becomes where's level 3? I guess in the middle. Maybe those lava spawns in the center? Is this going to be an expansion for armor here, I wonder?
player's forces are under attack. This is going to be a really strong timing, most likely from Starbuck. He's going to get level 3 MK, maybe stop by the shop, and then push the main. I would have to assume. I would have to assume. There's level 3 Mountain King. Is there an expansion I'm not seeing? No. It is just straight up one base Raider Walker from Arma. Oh, we went tier 3 and it was going Torrens. Oh! <laughs> gotcha. Makes sense. Still confusing, but makes more sense now. I'm afraid, though, Torrens are not very good against human. I'm sorry to say. I don't care what your armor type is. I don't care what your damage type is. They're just not that good against human. Tier 3, though, for Starbuck coming up. You could probably push as well, though, if you wanted. TC. Not quite level 3. Could have solo crept this maybe and gotten it, but too little too late, I'm afraid. Here comes Starbuck. No reinforce. It's not even being researched. That's rough. Very rough indeed. We'll see if Arma can defend this. You see dodge. Nice, but still not level 3. Pure hero focus, but he can just cloak. There it is. Oh, but he can't against the uh, stomp. Extra vulnerability. Now he can cloak because the TC is at risk of dying. Weird positioning for Starbuck, but he might actually be at the advantage. No aura working right now while the shadow or while the uh, Archmage is cloaked. Torrent dead. Master training almost done though, but the Walker gets killed beforehand. Now we're down to just one Walker. And he can't actually choose. He'd have to go over here to respawn the Torin. Because or else it's a 50-50 what corpse the walker prefers. Like that. Torin, your Torin's gone forever now. And this is pre-tier 3 for Starbuck as well. So you've all been writing lyrics with your band songs? About 99% not, no. 1% yes, so... You know. That gave a lot of experience, holy hell. Drifted Aviaries and Interfire on the way. This is looking like 2-1 for Starbuck. But, it will be another 2v2 after this, I'd have to assume. DP out, but the Kodo's probably dead. No, nice heal wave. Oh, it still dies. Rip. And Arma is... Not entirely screwed, but close to screwed, let's say. But damn, look at this camp. Is this enough for MK5? Probably not. You want the level 4 Archmage as well, though, anyway, so... Arma being given some space. You finally get some Torrens and enough mana on the walkers to revive them. But there's going to be Griffins, so... 1 plus 1 does equal 2 in that regard. Actually, very close to level 5 MK from this. Got one more camp close by, too. Look at this cliff. That is horrifying. Ooh.
He didn't have enough mana, and the corpse would probably expire by the time he did. Revive that torn from earlier. A player's forces are under attack. Alright, this will be maybe four three three for Arma. The Starbucks gonna be four five. Level 3 Stormbolt against walkers is going to pretty much one-shot them. And that's probably what Starbuck's going to go for. Just kill all the walkers before they can revive, and then kite the Torrens. Pretty simple. I'm not a big fan of Torrens against humans. In certain situations, they're very, very good. They're certainly not a bad unit at all, but in this situation... Sorry to say, it's not great. Mm, he split the experience on all three heroes, so he didn't really get any level ups there. A couple camps left on the map, though. Well, at least one, this orange. Starbuck. Almost level two paladin off. That gives a lot of experience. That creep camp. Jeez. The players' forces are under attack. Seventy versus fifty-five. As soon as they fight, this game will be over. I pretty much guarantee it. But Arma does have a TP to get, get out at least. Hold the walker. Hold the coda, okay. As the name suggests. Walker goes down. Actually, though, Archmage being focused, but somehow the priest heal keeps it alive, and GG is called, and that's 2 1 for Starbuck. Going into game four. Nice try to armor there, but 